Good morning, stamping friends. We are here live on Thursday with our weekly Facebook Live. I am happy to be here and I have two awesome projects to share with you featuring one of my all-time favorite stamp sets that will be retiring and I'm so sad, but it's lovely as a tree. Do you guys have this stamp set? This is a classic. This is the only stamp set that I have left in the wood mount case. It's well loved, you can see on the back. And I'm not even sure exactly when the stamp, stamp set came out, but it is the longest running stamp set that Stampin' Up! has had. I think someone mentioned 2006, but I don't know if that date's right. If someone has a, an accurate answer, I would love to know it, but it has been around, I mean, gosh, if it was 2006, that's a long time. That's 13 years, that's crazy. Anyway, usually Stampin' Up! has a product um, for two or three, maybe four years if it's a really popular product. But this stamp set was one that was Shelly Gardner's favorite. Shelly Gardner is the CEO and co-founder. She's not the CEO anymore. <laughs> She's a co-founder, she was a CEO, now her daughter Sarah Douglas is a CEO. Um, but she loved the stamp so very much she said, that she never wanted it to retire. Um, I think it's retiring this year just because we have some other beautiful sets. The Rooted in Nature stamp set is a lovely uh, tree themed stamp set that is perfect for nature and that type of thing. But I'm keeping this one. I mean, this is so classic. You have your Christmas tree, you have a beautiful oak tree that's great for sympathy cards. You have a beautiful leaf image for the fall, and this is my all-time favorite. These, um, all of these naked trees here, they're just so, so pretty, and that's what we're going to be using today because I just couldn't, I couldn't help but try to use it one more time before it was retired. So, we'll be featuring that on both of our card styles today. I wanted to start out um, by telling you, oh, first of all, Let's talk about retired lists. Have you guys looked at the retired list and have you gotten your retired things that you have to have? Because I noticed this morning on our inventory report that lemon lime twist cardstock, all gone. So we're starting to see the in colors deplete their inventory and sell out. And the lemon lime twist cardstock, which was my all time favorite from this in color selection, and I'm gonna miss it so much. Um, but that cardstock's already gone, so now is the time to get your favorite. Stock up on the in color cardstock, get your refills so that you can continue using them. Um, any of the designer series papers that you like, most of you know, all of those actually are going, and especially the ones that coordinate with the in colors, you'll definitely want to have those on hand. So go through that list, it's a long list, but um, you'll definitely want to get those right away before anything sells out. Now, remember, stamp sets are guaranteed available through May 24th, so you still have a little bit of time on those. But um, that's simply because Stampin' Up! manufactures those, so they give an extended guarantee for that. But everything else is while supplies last. So I want to make sure that you get your orders in now before it is gone. Debbie says, I bought about five lemon lime, car twist, lemon lime twist cardstock packs. Very good. Glad you got your order in, Debbie, because it is out of here. So long. See you to the lemon lime twist. So sad. So... Anyway, I wanted to just remind you about that. Now, it's out with the old and in with the new, and I am so excited to show you a little bit of a sneak peek about this brand new product medley that's going to happen in May. This is a limited time product, and it's a whole medley. It's like, you know what a suite is. It's bigger than a suite. It has more products than a suite, and it is only available for the month of May. Now, I, the thing about it is, I don't have it in my hands because demonstrators are not even allowed to order it right now. So some people um, might have gotten, some people who went to the onstage convention, they might have gotten some sneak peek um, pictures off of displays. There were a few lucky demonstrators that got to play with the, the new product and demonstrate it. So 
This is just barely out there and it is not something that demonstrators can even purchase yet with the pre-order. There is no pre-order for us. So we will get it the same time as you and that is May 1st. It runs May 1st through May 31st. It's called the Everything is Rosy uh, product medley. And I'm just gonna flip the camera around now because I want to show you, we don't have, we don't have it in our hot little hands yet. So I can't show you actual, but <clears throat> excuse me, Stampin' Up! created some really amazing projects with this medley. And I wanna show you what it's all about. And I think the best way to do it is if I turn you around and that way you can see all of, I had to print it out, that's the only way I can show you. Um, and then I'll also, um, once I'm done, I'm gonna attach a video link to the um, comment section. So look for that and that will be a really awesome way that you can see this product medley in action. So if you just hang on for a second, I'm going to flip you around. Okay. And also turn some lights on. <laughs> All right, so we're talking about the Everything is Rosy product medley. So this is our flyer that we have, and I will link uh, link this to the comment section as well. Everything is Rosy, and it's a product medley, as I said. This is a brand new concept for Stampin' Up! So let me show you some of the things that are in the product medley. Everything is rosy. So this is the beautiful stamp set that you receive. Lots of really pretty pieces with leaves and flowers and awesome all occasion types of greetings involved. I love that. And then they have a picture of all of the, all of the products that come in here. So let me just walk you through some of these things. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Actually, let me show you this one. This one has a little bit better of a picture of everything that's involved. So first you have the Everything is Rosy stamp set. You saw that a minute ago. And then you also have coordinating framelits that happen with it. So all of your flowers can be cut out. You also have an additional um, leaves framelit here. And then this beautiful border that you can also cut out. So that's awesome. You have two rolls of ribbon and these are full 10 yard rolls one is if you know the berry burst metallic edged ribbon this is very similar it's knight of navy and it has a rose gold metallic edge on it so everything you'll notice is rose gold so everything is rosy do you get it and then this one is a how do they describe it let's see it's called Melon Mambo Ruched Ribbon, and I'm not sure, I don't think it has a sheen on it. It seems like there's some kind of a sheen on it, but don't quote me on that. Anyway, so we have a full roll of this Melon Mambo Ruched Ribbon, like the old Ruched Ribbon a couple years back um, that we saw with the in colors. Really, really pretty. Some rose gold shimmer paint, so you can use that for some fun effects. There are these awesome die cuts. So these are pre-printed images that are already punched out and ready to go that you can layer. And they also have several label elements here. And these are, they have beautiful rose gold foil accents as the label border. So that is so pretty. The paper is absolutely gorgeous. It's six by six paper. You get, um, let's see, there's 48 sheets total. And you have six different double-sided designs with the paper. And you can't see it here because this is a, just a printed copy, but all of this beautiful rose color, that's foil. All of the paper is accented with a beautiful rose gold foil accents. So it's a specialty paper in a six by six form. So these are really, really awesome. Let me just make sure, let's see, I'm reading my list here. Yeah, you get eight each of six double-sided sheets of this paper. You also get foil sheets, the gold, uh, rose gold foil, and that is also six by six, and you get eight sheets of that as well. And then the final thing that you get in the 
product medley are these really pretty rose gold mirror accents. So you see they're the little tiny dots and I'm let's see if they give me a size on those. Quarter of an inch diameter circles and they have like a little um, like a plastic coating that you peel off of it like you would something that's very shiny to, so you don't scratch it and it really has a mirror image I think even more than the gold foil so that is going to be really pretty as little accents that you can add to your projects so you get all of these things stamp set framelits two rolls of ribbon a full pack of 48 sheets of paper the rose gold foil sheets, the accents, the pre-cut dies, all of that in one package. Do you see what I mean? It's even better than a suite of products. And it's called Everything is Rosy, and it's just under one product number. It's 150059, and you get it all at one time. It's $80, and that is actually a super awesome deal when you consider that you're getting full product of the stamps, framelits, papers, foils, ribbon, die cuts, shimmer paint. <laughs> There's everything you need. Now the thing I find really cool about this and makes it a little bit different than other things that Stampin' Up! has offered is the fact that it's kind of a kit but it doesn't have any predetermined projects. So there's no pre-cut anything. There's no instructions for a project. This is something that is a creative kit to get you started with all kinds of supplies that coordinate and then you add the creativity. So this is perfect for people who love to craft and people who love to stamp. The Avid Stampin' Up! Stamper. So let me show you a few of the samples that Stampin' Up! created just to give you an idea of how beautiful these products are. So here's um, some cards that they shared with us and I will put those online as well. Um, you'll be able to find those at mytwocoolstamping.com and that will have all of the pictures of these really pretty projects and then I'll share the video as well so you can see how it all looks a little more in action than these are for pre-printed. So this is a really pretty background paper that they've used. Everything's Night of Navy and Melon Mambo and Rose Gold. So the framelits have cut out these ro rose gold um, little leaves around. The label is one of the pre-cut die cuts. They stamped on it with the Everything is Rosy kit. And then you also have the die cuts here that they just added. So really pretty. It looks like they even uh, maybe flecked on some rose gold shimmer paint, these little tiny flecks that I'm seeing. So that is super fun. Here is another one of the um, sentiments from the set. Some of the die cuts maybe mixed in with some stamping and the framelits. Rose gold um, on this, it looks like they might have stamped with rose gold there. That's really pretty. Or maybe that's a die cut. I'm not quite sure. Another beautiful pattern for the background. And you'll see just a peak of the um, Knight of Navy uh, me metallic edge ribbon with the rose gold edge. So, so pretty. Here's another one. I'm loving the sentiments. They're so pretty. They're, they have kind of, you know, smaller and larger mixed in and they're very um, they're very versatile they're very all occasion time to celebrate all of the lovely things in life starting with you you can use that for a lot of occasions birthday through you know any kind of thing any kind of congratulations and this is just a mix of all of the different framelits and stamping and rose gold foils again and you'll see right in the center they've used those mirror little accents that I was telling you about. I can't wait to see this in person. I just am itching to get my hands on it. Here's some more of the beautiful papers, some of the die cuts around, the labels that you get that's pre-printed with the rose gold. Pretty, pretty stuff. Here's another. Again, same label, more die cuts, that beautiful rose gold with the framelits for the leaves and the accents in the middle of the flower. So, so pretty. I just love the coloring. It looks like balmy blue goes really well with this and um, maybe a, a petal pink or a blushing bright. I'm not really sure what that is. We'll have to see as we get it. And then this is a little pizza box that they've created, again with another little label. And you can see better here what the ruched ribbon looks like. And that is so, so pretty.
So I love that paper. Look how pretty just the paper is. Anyway, I am so excited about getting this particular product. I just know it's going to be super popular. Now, the one thing that I wanted to tell you about, this is only available in May. However, it's while supplies last. It's limited time. And they told us basically one of the reasons why they didn't have the pre-order for demonstrators was because they were afraid it might sell out before the actual promotion if it was only available to demonstrators. They know that this is going to sell out. So if you are interested in the Everything is Rosy stamp set, it's not stamp set, it's a stamp set, but it's a million other things too. This uh, Everything is Rosy product medley, if you're interested in that, you'll want to make sure that you place an order on the right at the beginning, the first day if you can. May 1st is when it starts. So next week, I believe that's Wednesday. Is that right? Wednesday? So um, plan to place your order early because this one will not last. I'm going to place an order for it uh, just because I just think it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful and it's such a neat concept. And if this one goes well, they are saying that they might have additional product medleys in the future. So look for more information on my twocoolstamping.com uh, post. I'm going to post a video as well as links to, or I'll post the photos of all the projects so you can see what those look like a little better than these printed sheets. Okay, so that is our Everything is Medley. Now we're going to talk about what we're doing today for our project, and we're going to focus on Lovely as a Tree. Today I have my last Thursday's card class, and I'm here local in Fort Wayne, Indiana. So I have several people coming to that class and we are going to be doing a card that features that lovely as a tree stamp set. I just love how this um, this tree line that has kind of the naked trees, I like to call them, um, they just look so fabulous for so many different seasons. And obviously if they're just plain, they are kind of wintry looking. You can dress them up with fall colors and I love doing that. So I have some oranges and browns and reds on here, but I also think you can dress them up for spring. So I, on this card that we're doing today, we're gonna be doing some berry color, some melon mambo and some light greens to make it more of a spring look because right now as I look out my window, this is how my trees look. They're just a little bit of light green. I have some beautiful dogwood trees and red bud trees that are blooming and it's just absolutely gorgeous. So that's what we're gonna focus on today. I'm gonna show you how to do this. And also I love this layered look. So you have kind of a spotlight effect. You have a little bit of the background that's plain and then we spotlight in bright colors, actually not bright colors, but in color uh, for the spotlight. So. These were my two cool versions, and I'll I'll be blogging about those later today. Um, they're not they don't look very much different from afar, but as I mentioned, they have that spring look with the tree coloring, and then the fall look. And let me show you how this is put together. I'll get out my lovely as a tree. Look at how well loved that stamp set or that stamp is. So so much ink on it, and I love it that way. Okay, for this particular card, we're gonna be using shimmery, shimmer white cardstock. Do you guys ever use this? I don't know if you can see, you probably won't be able to see it in the camera, but the shimmer white cardstock has a beautiful, subtle, speckly sparkle to it, and I just love it. It's, a, it's especially great for like winter scenes, for example, because it kind of has a snowy look. It's almost like Wink of Stella all over the card. So we're gonna use that as the background and I made it a vertically folded card this time. So four and a quarter by 11 and then folded in the middle at five and a half. So that is our card base. And we're gonna put a piece of the Needlepoint Nook cardstock here. I believe it is, let's see, it's four and a quarter by two and a half. And we'll just put that right along the bottom edge of our card base. All right, that's what we're gonna start with. Now, we're gonna have this beautiful layered look here. And the way we're gonna do that is we're going to stamp one time 
and we want to stamp on both pieces of paper and we don't want to stamp we want to be make sure that this I'm just gonna show you I don't know how to say it we're gonna take a little bit of snail and just put a little bit just a little dab on there we're just gonna tack it down you might even want to put your finger on it and get some of the tacky off so it doesn't stick too much and then we're going to add it to our card base here where we want it so let's say right here and that just keeps that in place actually it's not quite lined up there we go all right now we're going to ink up our our lovely as a tree image with stays on and this is because we're going to do some water coloring over the top of it so when you are doing a water based type of coloring you want to use an alcohol based black so stays on is perfect for that you do it the opposite way for example if you're using stamper blends or alcohol based and you're going to use a me uh, memento ink for that because it's water based so you will always want the different version of it so that you don't have any bleeding happening so I'm going to put that over the top it probably would have made sense if I would have put a little bit of the um, the piercing mat underneath it and I'm gonna make sure it's pushed down really well on the sides okay very good so we have a little bit of a gap here that's okay because that's gonna be covered up when we take this off and then we'll layer it on here eventually but first we're gonna color it so let's color it with some watercolor pencils have you guys have you guys used watercolor pencils in a while? I have not, but I want, whoa, I just had a bird hit my window. Did you hear that? <laughs> it was super loud. Okay, so we're gonna use watercolor pencils. I believe there's two assortments still. I haven't even looked at, to see what the assortments were. I just got out what I, my packs that I have. So I think there's a watercolor one and two assortment. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use these watercolor pencils and I'm gonna start with the grass just to give you an idea and I'm just gonna pretty much watercolor pencils are all about laying down color so that you can blend it later so you don't have to worry too much about coloring the whole thing we're just gonna lay down the color really lightly and definitely go light you don't want to press really hard you just want to kind of gently lay the color down. Then we're going to use a blender pen. And the blender pens are, uh, they have the same brush tip on either side. You can use either side. They're both the same. And we're just going to use that to color over the top of the watercolor. And this is just kind of breaking down that color and spreading it around. Now one thing I will say is, unlike blends, when you have, when you use stamping blends, stamp in blends, um, it's gonna blend really nicely. You're not gonna have a lot of brush strokes. When you're doing the watercolor pencils, as you can see, there's a little bit of a line here where the stroke of the pencil was so that's one thing that you want to keep in mind it's just kind of the nature of the medium so when you're laying down color think about that as you lay the color down I want I wanted kind of a back and forth horizontal stripiness to this yard uh, to the grass area so that's kind of the texture that it's giving it now for the background um, up at the top I'm going to, I'll show you later, we're going to use a little bit of circular motion. So let's start by adding some color to the trees first. So this is, what am I using? Oh, this one doesn't say. I think it is the Rich Razzleberry. I thought they said on the side, but they don't. So I'm just kind of going little tiny circles all over the tree. Um, this one says Melon Mambo on it, so I'm going to do this one here. And you're just kind of laying the color down. And then I might try a different color. Let's see. 
This one is Calypso Coral. We'll try that. We have some very colorful blossom trees happening. And then this one I believe is Old Olive and I just want a little bit of green on here. Okay, so those are all my tree colors. And then again, we're gonna use the blender pen. Remember, between colors, you wanna just kind of uh, color on your scratch paper. That way, you'll make sure that it's running clear. And then again, you're just gonna blend some of those colors out. One thing about this technique is you don't want to color and blend too much because it will start to pill the paper. So it starts to deteriorate the paper just a little bit. I'm going to add a little bit of Calypso over here. So we'll blend that in, get the color off of it, do this pink color. And this goes really quickly once you get started. And then the last one is the pretty green leafing on this front tree. Okay, let's show you up close what that is looking like. And again, the um, I don't think I told you, I think this is uh, three by, sorry, two, and three quarters by two and three quarters. I also was using the shimmer white paper on this so it all is gonna coordinate and match. And I'm gonna finish by doing a little bit of the blue. As you can see in my card here, it's just a really light blue tone in the background. So we wanna use a really light hand. And because it's a sky, I'm not gonna do the back and forth. I'm gonna go in little tiny circles. That way, if it has a hint of the the stroke of the pencil, it'll kind of look like clouds. So just lay a little bit of light color all around the trees. And let me show you what that looks like up close. See if you can, I don't know if you can see that. It might not even pick it up very well on the camera. And then again, just very quickly go through and blend that color out. Okay, I'm loving how that is looking. And this doesn't have to be a lot of perfection here. You're just just adding a little bit of sky color. All right, we're ready to add this to our background mat, which is a three by three of basic black. Before we pop it up, I'm going to add some of this really pretty retiring old olive one eighth inch sheer ribbon. So I'm just going to tie that in a double knot. Okay, and we'll cut off the ends there. And we'll scooch this over to the side. And then add a couple of dimensionals on the back here. And that is all there is to that focal point. I love how easy that comes together. I kind of forget to play with my watercolor pencils, but they're so, so pretty. All right, there is I love how that looks. Don't you love that? That little edge? So pretty. Let's do a sentiment really quickly. So we have 
The sentiment I'm using is from the Picture Perfect Birthday, and we're gonna use this little happy birthday up here. This stamp set is retiring. Again, we're gonna stamp with some stays on. And we'll use just a little scrap of the shimmer white because we want everything to match. Let me just do that one more time. There we go. So we have that stamped. We're going to use the classic label punch. Perfectly fits that. Punch that out. And we'll pop that up with a couple more dimensionals. Let me use some little, and eh, we can use regular. Nope, let's use the mini dimensionals. Definitely like to have the mini dimensionals on hand just for things like this that just need a little bit popped up. And we'll add that right underneath the focal point and then I'm gonna line it up here on the side, kind of an off-center thing. Then we're gonna finish up with Artisan Pearls. This is one of my most sad things that is that are leaving. Beautiful, beautiful pearls. And I'm gonna use some of these pretty berry colors to match my berry blossoming trees. You know what else I bought a lot of? I love the paper piercing tool as far as ways to get my pearls onto my project. I know they have the take your pick tool, but I've just got so accustomed to using the paper piercing tool and it's retiring. I was so sad. So I bought like six more of them so I can have them in every one of my embellishment containers. <laughs> so, so that's my weird purchase. What weird purchase have you made that from a retired product? <laughs> So this is the finished card. Again, here's what it looks like when I have the fall version. And in this one, I use the um, Cajun Craze blend, stamp and blend marker on rhinestones to make the little embellishment for the birthday. So what do you guys think? Do you love it? Give me a heart if you love it. All right. Next, we have one more project. And this one is super fun and easy. And I am just going to start making it for you. It's going to use a really cool technique, again, that I haven't tried in a long, long time. And I'm going to use my paper piercer. And I'm going to use that same lovely as a tree. I've already, I have this on the shimmer white paper again. This is a four and a quarter. That's not true. It's four by three and three quarter piece of shimmery white paper. I've stamped the lovely as a tree right along the top. And then I'm gonna show you how to do a really quick mirror image. This is so easy, you guys. You're not even gonna believe how easy it is. So when you get a stamp set, you get these little sheets, these little plastic sheets on your stamps. And I use that as a way to make a mirror image. So, I'm going to just lay, lay this sheet down. I'm gonna use my Lovely as a Tree. This time I'm going to use Memento Black ink because if you use stays on, it'll actually stay on the glossy paper that's meant for non-porous surfaces. So we don't want that to be stuck on the paper. So we wanna use Memento Black ink so that it will transfer. So we'll ink that up really well. Then we're just gonna stamp right on that plastic sheet. Be careful, it might be a little slippery, so don't let it slide around. And you wanna make sure that you have a very well inked ink pad, so you have a lot of ink on there. You don't want it to be dry. Then you're just gonna flip this over. And you're gonna put this right underneath your area. If you want your land to be skinny, or if you want it to be bigger, and then lay that down. Once it's down, don't move it. Hold it in place and burnish. Sorry, it's gonna make the camera go crazy. We wanna burnish over the entire piece. Whoops, hopefully I didn't smear it too bad. And you don't wanna move it. <laughs> All right, and then you lift that up. 
Look at that, look how easy that is. Super easy. It's a little bit lighter image, but it's still the mirror image so perfectly and so fast. I love that tip. So, so fun. And then this, you can reuse this, just wash it under, you know, run it under tap water. And that's gonna clean that right up for you. So you can use it again and again for that mirror image technique. Now to color this one, I'm gonna use some sponge daubers and just two colors. So I'm gonna start with pear pizzazz for my landscape. So I'm gonna use, I love these little sponge daubers. They're so easy to add color. And then we're just gonna lightly go over that landscape area, the grassy area. Whoops, getting a little getting a little crazy. Be careful that you don't do this. I have a little spot there, so if you go down with, if you just kind of lightly go back and forth and don't accidentally touch down on it in one spot, you'll avoid getting those little dots of, spot, of color there. And then we're gonna use Pool Party for the sky and the water. So we'll start with the sky. Again, you want this to just be really light color. So just a very light touch. And you can get a little bit more detail than I'm gonna get. I don't wanna take a lot of time to do that. But you get the idea, so you get a, a light color for the top part. And then in the bottom, for the lake, since lakes are a little bit darker, you're gonna have a little heavier coating of the same pool party. I bet I'm shaking the camera like crazy doing this. <laughs> All right, we're gonna make this good enough. You could go in and fill some of these blank spots up so you don't have quite as many white areas, but, and the more you, you know, just keep, you can keep layering color on there. It's not going to pill like it is when you use a blender pen, but you can make this a little bit darker if you want to. Make it however you want to. You could do a, like a sunset behind it, anything you want for your sky and water. Then we're going to adhere that to the back or to a mat, and this mat is four by four and a quarter. And let's get rid of this. We don't need this anymore. So there's that. And then again, we're going to have a card base that's that shimmer white. The whole thing is shimmer white. If you didn't want to spend the extra money, because it is a little bit more expensive, you could just put a layer of the shimmer white on regular cardstock on the front. And then I'm going to, before I put that down, let's put a little bit of ribbon. The black twine is going to be retiring. I'm sad about that. So many retiring things. but we're making use of them now so that we can get our fill and then we'll be on to brand new and fun things. All right, so here is our black twine. I'm gonna scooch that over. All right, and then we need to add a little sentiment. We'll add that in a minute. Let's put that down on our cardstock. Okay, put that up here, line that up, so pretty. And then we will, we're gonna use an itty bitty greetings stamp, and this one's called, this one's with love and sympathy. And we'll stamp that on another little scrap of the shimmer white.
and then again we're going to punch that out with the classic label punch so you can see we're using a lot of the same elements for just a little bit of a different look And then we'll pop that up with some mini dimensionals again. The classic label punch is staying, by the way. I'm so glad because it is a classic. That's, and so is the itty, itty bitty greetings we'll have in the new catalog as well. So I'm gonna put this down here. So pretty. And then of course we have to add a little bling to finish it off, I'm gonna use the faceted dots. These will be retiring. The cool part is we're gonna get some new faceted dots I saw and they're gonna be in the new in colors. So that will be fun. But for now, we will just use a couple of the medium sized black. And I'm just gonna put those right down here. And there we go. What do you think about that card? So pretty, I did another version, very similar. All the same elements, just in a horizontal card. So that is the mirror technique, or the reflection technique. And it's so, so simple to do with just some, a uh, sheet of plastic from your stamp kit, add some sponge daubers, so, so awesome. So those are our projects for today. I hope you guys really enjoyed them. Remember, I you can order any of these products right now. Many of them are retiring. The Lovely as a Tree stamp set is retiring, so don't miss that for sure. If you don't have it already, you definitely need to have this in your collection. Uh, and you can order all of these things at my website, which is twocoolstamping.com. If you order during April and you place a $50 order or more, and you use the host code that I have here, N4DTRBY3, then I will send you 15 free project sheets. And we're gonna focus on the Needlepoint Nook and Gingham Gala Suites this time. So seven different Needlepoint Nook projects and eight Gingham Gala projects. So with a $50 order, using that host code on the shopping cart page, I will get those out to you at the end of the month. So I hope that you really enjoyed this this time. I will be back again next week. We're always here on Thursdays with our Facebook Lives. And I look forward to seeing you, you then. And don't forget to check out my TooCoolStamping.com blog. I have daily projects posted to give you inspiration and help you make two cool projects. All right, everybody. Until next time, this is Angie with Too Cool Stamping. I'll see you soon. Bye.